Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Clifton Henri, nationally recognized and award-winning fine art photographer. And I'm here with day four, video four of my 10-day video artist talk series, uh, talking about the weight we carry. And today we're specifically talking about how the signature piece fits into the overall theme of the entire series. So let's get into it. All right, now to be honest, uh, let's just go ahead and consider this one as the prototype uh, from production, execution, um, you know, thoughts and putting them to, you know, putting them to paper and actually coming to fruition. Um, I used this particular piece as the blueprint for operating throughout the rest of the series. Um, so a lot of the elements I worked out through this one before I produced the rest of them, even though this wasn't the first idea um, that I had that I wanted to produce. It was the first one I executed and made come to life. You know what I mean? So how does this one fit into the theme? Well, it's it is actually like the theme and everything else, all of the other all of the other pieces in the series kind of followed suit. Um, I know I mentioned in the previous videos, you know, I wanted to prioritize working with children, um, the concept of war, mental health, uh, protection. Like these are all elements that I kind of poured into this one and used it as the formula. So the so the the underlying theme or the thread that runs through all of the pieces. Um, is a the recognition of feelings so under the umbrella of like the weight we carry right there are so many lanes so many avenues so many branches that i can dive into so many rabbit holes we can dive into about you know particular feelings or particular incidents about black america being told to wait and how that waiting has affected you personally and i'm sure it's affected us you even in a multitude of different capacities so this just happens to be one of them but it it was the the piece that inspired the rest of them it was the piece that that's not what i'm gonna say so i think the signature piece is the spark right it's the the conversation that it's the conversation starter you know, you dive into this piece, you look at all of the elements, um, you start picking a, picking away or peeling back the layers of the piece and the conversation just flows. Conversation flows, conversation branches off. Um, different people are going to attach themselves to different elements of the piece. And that is the point. That's why we literally like layer uh, our works of art. There are, it affects many people in many different ways. So why not speak to them, you know? So I think this piece like captures the essence of the entire body of work. And like I said in previous videos, it's almost like being seen in our feelings wanting to be seen. So it's like the pain of the weight we carry, the trauma attached to it is like, look at me, look at me, look at me, I'm here, recognize me, hello. Like it's, it's demanding attention. Recognize me, know that I exist, like I am present, I am affecting you, brother. <laughs> um, that in itself, I think is, is an important piece to being able to heal and operate and move forward in the world and in life is uh, not necessarily agreeing with your reality, but understanding the constraints in which you are working in so that you can essentially break the rules. Like you know what the rules are, so you know what rules need to be broken. You know where you're constrained and confined at, so now you know what to give attention to so you can break those chains, you can break through those ceilings. And how it fits into the theme of the body of work, I think all of the pieces in the series just speak to a different um, avenue 
into which it affects us. How being black in America affects you, how the world treats you, the circumstances in which you um, operate on a daily basis is recognizing those things. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow for day five, video five, where I'll be diving into the technical aspects behind the piece. Uh, we'll deconstruct it and put it back together so you can understand what it took to actually like create the final piece. Um, I'll also share some details about how I released the series to uh, my collectors as well. All right, so looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. I'll see y'all then. Peace.